मेरा नाम दीपा कर्मकर मैं खेलूंगी क्योंकि पूरा देश मेरे साथ है It was during the 2010 Commonwealth Games when a teenage four in every figure watched India's first ever gymnast medalist Ashish Kumar's display, and all her dreams since she first picked up the sport at the age of six came rushing. The little girl from Tripura went on to become one of the only five women ever to have executed the wand of death, the Prudu Nova, winning a bronze at the Commonwealth Games 2015. In 2016, she became the first Indian female gymnast to qualify for the Olympics, producing India's best ever result. The Braveheart missed the medal by a mere 0.15 points and finished fourth. For the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna and Padma Shri Award, the year 2017 was wrecked by reoccurring knee injuries. Then came 2018. She made a return with a bronze in the Artistic Gymnastics World Cup and a gold at the FIT Artistic Gymnastics World Challenge the same year. But since then, the gymnast was nowhere to be seen. Unable to secure a berth for the Tokyo Olympics, absent from the Commonwealth Games and World Championships, her last FIC event was the 2019 World Cup in Baku. After nearly three years, a new story started surfacing the internet. On International Gymnastics Federation's website, Kadmakar's name was suddenly identified as suspended, without any immediate clarity of what its status meant. When asked, the federation was clueless, and so was Kanmakar. Cut to 2023, the ITA International Testing Agency sanctioned Diva Kanmakar with a 21-month period of ineligibility after testing positive for prohibited substance hexenamide. A reduced ban effective until July 2023, after she admitted to the doping charges. From the highest of highs to the lowest of lows, Diva's fortune race has been rough. But can India's small wonder jump back to glory?